Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. A uh, few things I wanted to discuss here. Uh, one of them is this camp story. You saw this? Yes, I did. A pricey New Hampshire overnight camp canceled. Yeah. Now, you have the details in front of you of... Uh, th- yes, there's been complete tales of fistfights, unsanitary meals, and mass mass vomiting. Yes, so, right. Um, I saw a camper punched a counselor. Uh, then a ca- that same camper, I think, punched another kid. And then there was word that the counselors weren't even hired for the camp till like, two or three days prior. Mm. Food was late arriving to the camp. This is a sleepaway, two-week sleepaway camp. Sleepaway that cost thirty-four hundred dollars. Right. Uh, then the so the food's late. Then there were the talks of uh, in the dining hall, dirty dishes being served and used over and over again. And then a story about four kids vomiting all night and their parents not being told about it. Oh. Um, just ri- like the, what they call it, the fire festival of camps. Yeah. Yes. Now, this is the closure of an 85-year-old camp. So right. It's been around a long time. It has. Now, they claim that, and by the way, there's probably some truth to this, although it's not an excuse. They claim that because of... Uh, the pandemic and la- and people don't want jobs and, and p- there's a lot of jobs to be filled and they can't fill them all, that they had trouble filling all the counselor roles. They couldn't find all the right people for those roles. And the food supply chain has been backed up as well. These were their well, excuses. I don't know. Then you don't do the camp, right? <laughs> you don't right. take people's money. And apparently... The undertrained counselors quit en masse. Yes, the the counselors that were just like, we're out of here. Yeah. And like half of them were gone in a day. You know, I was in camp in 1969, <laughs> and they made an announcement that any counselor who thought that they were going to the Woodstock concert and have their job when they got back would not have their job. And there was a few counselors who said, you know what, we don't care. We're going anyway. Oh, wow. And they left. Yeah, yeah they got fired. And you were a kid in this camp. I was a kid in the camp. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you remember. I your, do. You remember counselors I walking to out. I was only 10 years old. I do. Oh, oh my I God. I remember. And I remember a few of them said, you know what? This We're going. So nice to know you kids. Bye. That is incredible. Wow. Ima- I, when you started the story, I got Golden Girls flashbacks. Like, imagine this. Sicily, 1929. You know? That's not funny. I'm sorry. Uh, Candy, how about this cruise? Uh, the five-month cruise that went on sale. Um, I'm not sure what cruise line. It's one of these fancy, you know, uh, cruise lines. It's a five-month cruise. Obviously, older people. Mo- By the way, this is not abnormal. There are uh, long cruises for retired people who want to sail for three months at a time, Candy. You know, you've seen this, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. So here's a five-month cruise. It's sold out in three hours. Cost seventy three thousand dollars, and it stops at sixty six ports around the world. Wow! Th- thoughts, Candy? That's that's quite a cruise. Not for me. That's too much. I wonder what their COVID protocols are. Yeah, no, that's too much. Too much. Well, five month cruise, sixty six ports. I remember reading a story, and I'm sure this is fairly normal. I bet you see this a lot. A woman who lost her husband, and they were very rich. She decided to live the rest of her life on a cruise ship. I know this story. It was incredible. So she bought the cabin and just stayed on the ship, rented out the the cabin. Yeah. And she told the story. I remember like it was yesterday. I remember seeing the article that she said, what better way? You know, I lost my husband. Right. How about this? Every night I go to dinner, I meet new people. Correct. Every week, new people come on the ship. I make new friends. Mm-hmm. I thought it was like a beautiful thing, Candy. It's a beautiful thing. And she said, you know, I'm traveling the world. I don't have to do anything. They do it all for me. Yeah. Um, yeah, she, does, she doesn't have to cook. She doesn't have to clean. She does, yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Now, this goes back a number of years. She was doing this before COVID. This was like many, many years she was doing this. I'll never forget it. So I hope uh, I'd like to hear a follow-up story on her. I hope she's okay. I know. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so uh, I, I 
Five month cruise, sold out three hours, 73 grand a piece. One day, maybe one day. That's kids. One day. Kids, yes. we're out. We'll see you later. Mommy and Daddy will be cruising. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll see you next uh, next summer. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.